My name is Roberto Lugo. I am a potter, a poet, a visual artist, and an educator. I came to pottery in a really sort of unorthodox way. First, I made a decision in, when I was about 25 that I wanted to go to college. I really didn't have any direction. I was just taking classes more so that I can get to know what it is that I wanted to do. And so I thought I'd take an art class as a way to sort of introduce myself to college. And so when I started working in pottery, it was like physical too. And so it immediately felt like, like I had a relationship to it because it was art, but it was also work. I come from really humble beginnings. All of my grandparents are from Puerto Rico. People are always gonna see me in a certain way. People are always gonna see me as a person of color. People are always gonna see me as somebody from the ghetto. And like, because of the way that I speak and articulate, that, that's my, that's, that's just such an organic part of me that I can't get rid of. And so I started to like embrace that and see that as like what makes me distinct, what makes me unique in my heritage and what I should be proud of. I've used the term ghetto so much in my life. And the reason why is because uh, for me, ghetto means resourceful. It's people who do a lot of stuff with very little, who've had every single obstacle in front of them, put in front of them, and look, they still figure out a way to survive. And for me, that's my, that's my culture, my heritage, and what I'm proud of. And so this idea of being a village potter is me uh, being made out of all these parts. This exhibition is called Village Potter. It happened initially by Grounds for Sculpture exhibiting interest in my artwork. And so I talked to them about working on developing their educational program here, working on this monolithic sculpture, just work on larger pieces of pottery. The large piece is very similar to how I approach and paint my pottery in my studio. You know, I'm thinking about representation, but I'm also thinking about it in, in ways that, how can I connect with other people who maybe don't understand these things? There are certain visual elements that like immediately strike us as individuals based off of our lived experience. And so I really like to play to those because one of the things that that does is that allows me to connect with people from a broad range of places. I haven't ever worked in this, this scale. And so working with a, a piece that's a vase but not made out of clay is a huge step. So I created it using 3D rendering software. It can be translated digitally and you know be made in the scale that it is, which is 20 feet tall. In this exhibition, I'm also working on pottery um, anywhere between three to five feet tall, which is huge for me. Um, and I was thinking about these pieces in relationship to the very large ceramic work. So almost like creating a village of pots in this area, in this atmosphere. And having those pots have different shapes, different colors, different patterns found in the large piece. And so I almost look at this, this whole thing as an installation. One of the reasons why I think this show is so important is because I'm talking about a village of people who work together and support in all the different ways that they did to be able to create and, and put me in a place where I'm at. Not just looking at what people are doing for you in terms of a community, but also like how the little things that you do to support other people come together to make a huge difference. Hi, I'm Shirley Mann. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.